Welcome back guys, your boy Scooby Stacks, straight out of New York. We are back with another awesome series, Gears of War 4. It's been a long time waiting. I play all the Gears, except for Judgment, because I heard Judgment was bad, so I never played Judgment. But I love Gears of War 2 and 3. To me, they were the best, but Gears of War 1 was good too. When I played this series, I didn't have a YouTube channel, so that's why it's not up on my channel. So that's why Gears of War 4 is going to be my first game for Gears on my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do all the complete walkthroughs on the hardest level. I don't talk during the cutscenes. Also, everyone I have in the Gears of War 4 giveaway, I'll put the link in the description. And the giveaway ends a week from the day the game came out. I will post the winners on Twitter. And I will put the winner, I'll post the winner in the video too. I'm going to be playing this with a lot of my friends. But I'm not going to be commentary because when I talk, it echoes, the mic echoes, and then when they talk, it echoes, and it's really, really bad. That's why when I did my other gameplay of like Battleborn, I wasn't talking when I played with friends. But I'm going to be playing with a bunch of friends. So with that said, everyone, let's jump into this and let's do this. So we have campaign. Versus Horde, Customization, War Journal, Stores, and Credit. So before we start, I'm going to show you guys the customizations. As you look, we have all the same weapons, Happy's do, and the other parts. But they added on a, new, a bunch of new weapons, and you can do a lot more. You can do a lot more customizations. As you can see, the same switching, all the different kind of guns. Then we have these, the Swarm. So you can use them, pick them up. They got stuff like you can build your new terrorists and all this stuff in here. Then you have your horde mode right here. And now, what they else they add? The new ammos for like your horde mode, your multiplier, whatever you can put on. As you can see to the um, bottom left over there, how I'm changing them. They, it's nice. I like. I got this one on right now. I can switch it to this one or whatever I want. Keep the gear four one on. And you can add different customizations to your guns too in the color. So I just wanted to show you guys that before we started. So with that said guys, we'll jump into this with some Gears of War 4. And we're back. Finally today in New Ephira, First Minister Jin commemorated the 25th anniversary of the end of the Locust War. Today we are humbled by the presence of two generations of men and women who braved every danger, who fought the battles that made us what we are, including the most pivotal encounter of the Pendulum Wars, Ashbow Fields. Santiago! I'll spare you the inspirational speech, Private. You know what to do. Yes, sir. All right, let's do this! We take down those towers, cripple their communications, then raid the lab. Command wants the Hammer of Dawn, Command gets the Hammer of Dawn. Alright, let's move! Move it, Gears! We're only gonna get one shot to extract those planets. Once we take down the comm towers, this entire base is cut off. Yes, sir. We've got Indies! Up top, take them out! Hurry! 
less I need to worry about. Approaching bonfire. Roger that, Green One. Okay, get a charge on that tower. Charge planted. Leader, our match is lit. Roger that. We're lighting our bonfire in three, two, one. Yes, sir. The lab's just beyond that security gate. Push up! Machine gun nest! We're splitting up! You two take left! We're spotted! Take cover! Override that gate. is officially underway. Let's go. Oh, All right, yeah. you know the drill. Eliminate the guards, get inside the lab, grab the plans. Then we ghost. So what does this hammer of dawn thing do? It wins the war. And if we do our job right, every system here is wiped. And the indie scientists get an offer they can't refuse. All right, we're in. Let's go. Labs up ahead! Take him out! Who's next? Open up on him! Alright, we're in! Time to rendezvous with the Major! Come on! You too, Major! Let's take out these Indies so we can get on with the goddamn show! Yes, sir! Indy! Coming from the lab! Secure, Major. I have eyes, Private. Now, let's get those plans. Good timing. Step 
inside, Private. Looks like these indie scientists aren't too eager to meet us. Bruce! Be a deer and rip this door! Gears, listen up. If we're not out in ten minutes, abort mission and get the hell out of here. Okay, Santiago, time to meet our new friends. Right behind you, Major. Understood, Control. Come on, Gears. Colonel Hoffman's convoy is gonna need protection. Corporal, we're coming in hot! Almost there, Control! Oh, shit! That's the convoy! Look out! Look out! Pull those goddamn things! What the hell is even happening? <laughs>
Corporal? Kim, sir. Lieutenant Stroud and I need an escort. Congratulations, you're it. Uh, Colonel, we need to get inside. Now. I've got the code for the door, Colonel. Well, good for you, son. Hold these stairs with that hammer. I'll be back when I can. Oh, man! This is bad! All right, you heard the corporal. Don't let him inside! They're coming right at us! Use the hammer! Oh, shit! Look out! Push him back! Push him back! We need some goddamn reinforcements! No! Oh, not gonna happen! Keep fighting! Hundreds of thousands were dead. Emergence Day had earned its name. Like many of you, I was only a child then. It was a dark, terrible time. And our victory was in no way assured. Everyone on that wall! Now! Get that soldier back on his feet! Got you. All right, Gears, get up that ladder! What happened? Boy, come on up! Where the hell am I? Uh, uh. I gave you a goddamn order! Get on that wall! Over here! Get to the other side and 
But against all odds, a brave group of soldiers led by Marcus Phoenix finally ended our locust nightmare. He did it. How dearly I wish Sergeant Phoenix could be with us here today. Stop and think about the men and women whose sacrifices guaranteed our survival. Thanks to them, we fought through the long twilight. We built a new prosperity. The world the new cog has ensured knows no war, no suffering. It's a world of safety, of family, a world finally at peace. You coming? Just give me a sec. For a butterfly? Yeah, look. You know how this little guy starts out? Trying to stay alive. <laughs> True. But if it survives, and most don't, it finds a way to change. The little larva becomes a chrysalis. Inside, it destroys and rebuilds itself, changing its color, its shape, it gets wings, claws. It slashes its way out of its cage, and then... And then it's new and beautiful. You shouldn't have come. Save your breath, JD. That one? <laughs> She's a mother's daughter. She really is. I really am. We used to protect Cox settlements. Now we're about to raid one. Is that ironic? Technically, no. <laughs> Raiding is what outsiders do. Until you two showed up. Now, pff, boring. Better bored than dead, old man. There's a difference. Huh, no alarm. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're not gonna be bored. Dead, on the other hand. That's not the security alarm. Oh shit, wind flare! We can take cover inside the settlement. To the wagon, all of you! Go!
what I miss? Everyone okay? Okay, still has her hat? Good. Good! Hey, ugly. You stay here, okay? Huh. <laughs> Runaways! These big cog walls make you feel a little homesick. Wow! Again with this runaway bullshit? You know we don't need you, right? Raina told Dell and me to do this, not you. Sorry, smart guy. Where she goes, I go. I don't need a babysitter, Uncle. Then call me a chaperone. How about I call you hungover? <laughs> oh, you got some chuff, boy, don't you? Uncle! You're obviously hungover. Actually, I was still a little drunk. Uh, <clears throat> Cox settlements are built from the inside out, which means the fabricators in the construction hub at the center of town. We grab it, we leave. You can count on a lot of security DBs in there. There hasn't been an outsider raid in six months. We'll have the element of surprise. You can't surprise a robot, my guy. We used to command DBs, remember? Oh yeah, like a settlement too. Hey, that wasn't their fault. Uh, you got bigger problems than stubbornness, young one. 